Shabayaga is the longest night of the year, also known in Western culture as the winter solstice. Traditionally, Persians gather together to celebrate darkness with light. It's a night filled with beautiful poetry, music, good food, and company. Today, I'm going to show you one of the most traditional recipes served on this evening, Asha Anar. It's basically a mixed herb soup with pomegranate molasses, pomegranate juice, little meatballs, and lots of herbs. It's really delicious, very easy to make, and just super, super wonderful. Let me show you how to prepare it. I've already prepped all my ingredients, chopped them so that it's ready to cook, and soaked my rice and split peas. In a pot, I'm just gonna add some vegetable oil, and I'll fry my finely chopped onions until they have a nice golden brown color. Next, I'll add in my minced garlic. And you want to fry until fragrant before adding in your turmeric powder and black pepper. It's important to lightly fry this so that any raw flavor from the turmeric comes out. And this is going to be the base of adding that beautiful color and flavor to our stew. Here I've got my split peas, which I've already soaked and drained, and I'll just add it into the pot. And just fry this for a couple of minutes. Add in four cups of water and allow this to simmer for about 20 minutes before we add in the rice. Next, I'll add in my soaked rice and allow this to simmer for an additional 20 minutes. Now I'm ready to add in my mixed herb. I've got some green onions, parsley, coriander, fresh mint, and chives. Give this a nice stir and add in your pomegranate juice. And I'm just gonna cover the pot and allow this to simmer away on medium high heat for about 45 minutes until all the flavors fully develop together and the rice and split peas are fully cooked through. While my soup is bubbling away, I'm gonna start preparing my meatballs. Here I have 500 grams of minced beef. It's got about 20% fat, and this is simply because I want it to have a nice juicy consistency. If it's too lean, it can get a bit chalky or very dry. To it, I've got one onion, which I finely grated and drained the excess liquid, and I'm just gonna add it into the mixture. And for seasoning, I have turmeric powder, a pinch of cardamom powder, some salt, black pepper, and a tiny pinch of saffron. And this is just gonna give it a nice layer of flavor. I don't want my fingers to stain. I don't usually like working with gloves, but when there's turmeric, the gloves come on. And all I'm gonna do is just knead all the ingredients together. You want all the ingredients to be fully combined. And I'm gonna just shape these into mini meatballs, around five grams each piece, and just place it directly into your frying pan. find that the smaller they are, the better. I've just finished preparing my meatballs and now I'm just going to quickly fry them so that they're browned on all sides before I add them into my soup. Once the meat has developed a beautiful brown color, I'm gonna add it into my soup. And I'll add in my pomegranate molasses.
And don't forget to season with some salt. This is just going to add more depth of flavor and color to my soup. I'm gonna let this simmer for another 30 minutes and it will be ready to be served. A final tip before you're ready to serve your soup is it's important to taste it. Now, because we've added a lot of pomegranate juice and pomegranate molasses, it can tend to be a bit sour. And this is where it really depends on your palate. If you like it as sour as it is, then you keep it. But if you like it to be a bit sweet, then you add a bit of sugar. And to be honest, the quantity is optional. It's really to suit your own taste. But for me, this is a key tip to make this recipe extra special. My soup is ready and it smells spectacular. I've got this beautiful antique pot that I picked up on a trip to Lebanon and I just think it's the perfect pot to serve this hearty traditional recipe. And I'll be garnishing it with crispy fried onions, pomegranate juice and fried turmeric and mint. I like to start off with some of my fried mint and turmeric. Just add generous amounts on top. This is definitely a very special recipe that I can't wait for you to try. To make it extra special, I'll add some more of my fried mint. A truly special soup that is representative of love, festivities, blessings and abundance. Wishing you a Shabbat Yaldo Mubarak and hope you guys try this recipe. See you guys later!